quick PSA before I actually get my thoughts in on this video. Um, when you make an announcement for something, I'd like to say don't do it a week in advance before you release a movie because it kind of does spoil everything that happens if you think about it. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Odir, aka The Overview, back at again with another video, and oh my god. I know we're a week away from Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and I gotta say, this is not the announcement I wanted to hear, and I don't know why they waited a week in advance before they actually released this thing, because we got a new poster and also our actual movie lineup for the Pooniverse. The Pooniverse! And it's actually a crossover movie between all these different horror characters that are now in public domain, and the plot goes as this. All these different crossover characters are coming together in Pooniverse as they actually kill off characters from their standalone movies, but also realize that they don't see eye to eye with each other. And that means we're actually going with the Battle of the Monsters. So I guess this is the story for this movie. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey too. That's without a doubt because the first one was a bit eh, kind of terrible. But then again, with this movie, it looks like they're actually using prosthetics and actual effort to use within the characters of the 100 Acre Wood. But the thing that has me worried about this is that they announced all these different horror type movies before actually getting to Winnie the Pooh. Like we got the Bambi movie, we got the Peter Pan movie, and we just announced a Pinocchio movie in the span of a week. So now that I'm seeing that they're doing this into a whole Avengers like crossover movie and without a doubt actually copying the logo from the Avengers. It's kind of strange that we're actually getting into this now because I thought it was going to be a thing where each of them stand alone in their own movies. Like, Winnie the Pooh is his own legend and story. Pinocchio is going to do a different type of thing. Even um, Peter Pan, I'm like, how are they going to do Peter Pan? But hopefully it makes sense. Even the recently announced um, Bambi, The Reckoning, which, how is that going to work? Because I know the story was Bambi's mom died, but that doesn't mean that Bambi, the deer itself, was going to go crazy and... From the looks of this poster, you see Winnie the Pooh writing Bambi, and I'm like, there's no way this is going to work, but I guess they're the good guys in this kind of, because I'm kind of rooting for Winnie the Pooh to win this fight, because if you think about it, all these characters are going to come together fighting one another, Freddy versus Jason style. And the fun about that is that we don't even see horror crossovers like they used to. Freddy versus Jason happened, and Alien versus Predator, but after that, we kind of got rid of that whole versus genre within horror, because I remember... That they were pitching up ideas to do like Chucky versus Leprechaun or Jason versus Michael or something like that. Even those fan films actually kind of did make it work with the footage used from all their movies. But with this, it's gonna it could be good, it could be bad. But the thing is that I want to see the finished product of what you have now because I did hear that the post credit scene was gonna show off all these characters in a almost Godzilla way with um the way. That post credit scene was in Kong Skull Island where they show all the characters into one. But I kind of wanted to see what the second Winnie the Pooh would do because from the clips they've been showing, it looks like they actually have effort to have the characters talk. And the action looks a bit more intense. I want to see what it would have been like to see that on the big screen, not only just as an announcement, but also seeing that, oh, we're not in a world of just these characters. I want There are actual other Disney-like characters out there. And what is also interesting, we also have that Mickey Mouse horror movie in the works. And I feel like if the rights weren't exactly in the public domain this year, I feel like we they could have added Mickey Mouse to the lineup, but who's to say? That could end up in a future sequel. Those are my thoughts, and I just kind of wanted to get this out there because I am planning on reviewing Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, the first one, a week before, a couple days before the movie releases. So I got to say, without a doubt, what are your thoughts about this? If you like this idea, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media down in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.